Growing up, my parents told me, Justin, you can be anything you want to be. All you have to do is practice and work hard enough, and you can achieve any goal you want to achieve. And I'm here today to tell you that that is a lie. Growing up, I believed this, and I thought I could be the next Deion Sanders. So Deion Sanders, also known as Primetime, was an amazing football player. He was a corner for the Dallas Cowboys and returned punts. And he was so great because of his skill, his confidence, and his leadership. Dion was born August 9th in 1967 in Florida. He went on to play college football at Florida State University. He ended up playing 16 years in the NFL, but I became a big fan when he played for the Dallas Cowboys. He is now in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and his skill was something so unreal. His speed was just so insane. And that's where the biggest disconnect between me and him came. When I was younger, I really thought I could be like him if I practiced hard enough. So if my friends didn't want to go outside and play catch, I would go in the backyard, throw the football up, catch it, and I would practice catching punts. I would throw the ball, run, catch it like a wide receiver. And I would actually end up playing catch with myself on the days where my friends didn't want to play because I thought if I practiced every single day, I could be Deion Sanders. Now, going into middle school, I had a rude awakening because I realized I'm slow. No matter how much I practice, I'm never going to have that speed. So I fell short of becoming the next Deion Sanders, but I still try to be like him. 27 years later, I still try to be like all the other aspects of him. So and we know his skill, but his skill led to his confidence. That's something that we can pick up off of. When he was playing, he, he's quoted saying, water covers two thirds of the earth and I cover the rest. That confidence there is something that I take into my, my work, my running, all the sports I do. Back when I was fighting MMA, I would have to have that confidence to be successful. So when you have the skill, you have the confidence to back and the skill to back up the confidence. From there comes leadership. So leadership is influence. And to be a servanthood leader, you have to be able to give to other people. Leadership without sacrifice is not leadership. And what's crazy today is that Deion Sanders has made all the money he's done playing football, but he continues to give and his leadership is just something that you can see on a daily basis for him. He's the head football coach at Jackson State University. He does free charter schools for the poor kids of Dallas, and he's fighting poverty in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So obviously, I am not playing for the Dallas Cowboys, and I never came close to being at that level. But I did become like Dion. When it comes to a skill, I use my skills as running and my creativity to make running videos to inspire others to run. So it's not the NFL level, but I still use what little skill I have to do what I can with it. For confidence, I am extremely confident. My wife would say too confident, but that's fine. And it's just that same level that Dion has. And I feel to be successful in anything you do, you almost have to have that level of confidence. And for leadership, he coaches football now. I coach wrestling, I coach kickboxing, and I'm a distribution center success coach. So although I am not Deion Sanders, I have became more like Deion Sanders. So who did you want to be when you grow up and how did they turn out? Did you come close to them or did you maybe even surpass them? Thank you.